This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Sunday, February the 17th, 2019. It's the feast day of the seven founders of the Servite Order. The Servite Order is one of the five original mendicant, that is, poor, non-cloistered, out in the world doing what needs to be done, religious orders. Its main works are the sanctification of its members, preaching the gospel, and the propagation of devotion to the Mother of God. It was founded in Florence, just as Florence was coming to prominence in the pre-Renaissance time of Europe. And the seven founders were Buonficlio dei Monaldi, Giovanni di Buona Giunta, Amadeus de Amadei, Ricoberro de Lippi Ugo Cioni, Benedetto dell'Antonella, Gerardino di Sostegno, and Alessio de Falconieri. They belonged to seven patrician families of that city, very wealthy men who gave up everything to serve the Lord, to serve Our Lady, and to establish the Order of the Servites. They were canonized by Pope Leo XIII in 1888. Across the other side of Italy in Milan, today in 1904, Madame Butterfly premiered at La Scala. And boy, was it a mess. Puccini squeezed the whole show into two acts, and the premiere was a complete disaster, despite the fact there were very talented voice actors, very talented singers, and everything was set for it to be a triumph. Eventually, he rewrote the entire show four separate times, and the final version is now considered one of the great staples of Italian opera. It's consistently in the top 10 great operas of all time. The show is set in Nagasaki, Japan, at the beginning of the 20th century, and the story revolves around a marriage of convenience, an unexpected child, and a man, Pinkerton, who ultimately doesn't know what he wants. The show thrives in its music, in particular the aria from Act 1 and Un bel di vendremo, sung by the prima donna Chocho-san. Truly an opera worth seeing. Across the pond today in 1996, chess world champion and grandmaster Gary Kasparov played IBM's supercomputer, Deep Blue, in the second of six chess matches. The computer won the first match on February the 10th and completely stunned the world. Kasparov went on to win three of the six matches and stalemate two more, losing only one game to the computer outright. In 1997, they played six more, three of which ended in stalemate, and two of the others going to the PC. Kasparov became the youngest ever undisputed world chess champion back in 1985 at the age of 22 when he defeated then-champion Anatoly Karpov. He retired in 2005 and devoted himself to humanitarian efforts in his native Russia and continues that great work even to today. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.